Welcome back to Focus Fanatics. In this video we are going to cover a couple quick tricks to help reduce the time it takes you to make your schedules. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a couple of things set up properly. So if you can navigate to miscellaneous general general and go ahead and select the timekeeping tab. Down here under the scheduling options, there's just a couple things that you're going to want to make sure you have set properly. Uh, obviously, your start date, so if your schedule starts Monday, you want that to be Monday. If your scheduling period Sunday to Saturday, you just start it on Sunday. But for my purposes, I'm going to have it on Monday. My start time is going to be 10. And then your overhead percentage, that's going to account for indirect costs such as administration, quality control, etc. Uh, this number is going to vary by restaurant to restaurant, so talk to your account accountant and find out what they recommend. Um, and then right here, since I'm not used to military time, conventional time is easier for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark that. And then once you have those options set up, it's pretty easy to go ahead and make your schedule. So if you just go directly into the scheduling shortcut here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit New. And I'm going to have a start date, and it's going to be for Monday to Sunday. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now I can either select a job, or I can go directly into the schedule. Now if I go directly into the schedule, it's a lot more difficult to create your schedule. You would have to go ahead and select Add, and then select the employee from the list of employees. And if you're a large restaurant, you're going to have a lot of employees. And, you know, it's not going to be organized by job or anything like that. So the easier way to do it is to go ahead and select job and maybe do your bartenders first. So if you do your bartenders first, you can hit add. And then you're only going to see your bartenders in the drop down list. Now you see down here we have these shift options. These are created under employees jobs. And on the timekeeping tab you have shortcuts. Okay, so these are just basically shift shortcuts. So for servers, or excuse me, bartenders, 10 to 3, 11 to 5, 4 to 10, and 5 to 11.30, servers, hostesses, etc. You're going to want to set these up. It's going to make your life a lot easier when you are creating your schedule. One other quick thing to take a look at is grace periods. So if you have these set to, say, 5 and 5, and you have your employees set to enforce the schedule, which means if you have a bartender set to clock in at 10 a.m., he can clock in either 5 minutes early or 5 minutes late. However, if he clocks in 6 minutes early or 7 minutes early, then he would uh, require manager's approval. So that's just one thing you may or may not want to set up. And you can set them up for clock out as well. They're not as typical for clock outs because a lot of time servers and bartenders Depends on the environment, but in a table service environment, these shifts can vary quite drastically. So once you set up your shortcuts, it's going to make your schedule a lot easier. So if this schedule is already sort of started, I can go ahead and hit edit here. I'm going to select bartender. And real simple, I can just hit add. And I'm going to select Betty. And on Monday, Betty works 10 to 3. Tuesday, 10 to 3. Wednesday 10 to 3. You know, it's real quick. Just go in and click in my shortcuts. I hit save. I'm going to add another bartender. And Billy works from Monday 11 to 5, Wednesday 11 to 5, Friday 11 to 5. I think you probably get the point. Now I'm done with my bartenders. Let's say I filled up my bartender schedule. I go ahead and hit save. And then if I go to jobs, I select server, and now I'm going to do all my servers. Kind of wipes out clean slate, hit add, and Frank, Monday 10 to 3, Tuesday 10 to 30 to 2.30, add, Tuesday 11 to 4, or so. You get the point. So these scheduling options make it really, really easy to create a schedule. Now they can always be changed on the fly, so you can just double click on Thursday and instead of 4 to 10, maybe it's going to be 4 to 10.30 this day. So you're just going to go ahead and edit that real quick. It is no big deal. If you want to create something totally different than a set schedule, 
then you just double click on the cell and enter it in. 11 o'clock a.m. to 2.30 p.m. It's pretty simple. And then once you're done creating all your jobs, you, you know, we would create our cooks and our cabinet people and our, you know, depending upon what you have. I can go back to jobs, and if I select none of them, then it will then show me all my schedule. And you can see the different colors by different jobs. That's all set up on the, that timekeeping tab we were just at where we set up the shortcut. So you can set that up there as well. And down here, you've got your hours and your cost information. And if you wanted to get an actual labor percentage estimate, you could import sales from last week. And that's real easy to do. You just go into projected sales. You hit this load from file, and you take last week or the week before or what have you. And then you just say for the week or the day. We're going to do it for the week, and you hit OK, and it would populate this. Now, I'm not at a live restaurant, so I don't have any sales data, but trust me, this would populate. And then I would actually get estimated sales and an estimated labor percentage based on those sales. So pretty simple. Um, and then let's say we're complete, we've done all of our jobs, I'm just going to save and close it. And then let's say we're going to create the following week schedule. Which, once you create a schedule, a lot of times your cooks are working the same shifts, and your bartenders have standard shifts, and so do your servers, etc. Uh, except for just a couple inconsistencies that you change from week to week, depending upon availability. So we're going to go ahead and create next week's schedule, and we just go back in the schedule. And we hit New and select the start date of the 10th through the 16th. And then the starting schedule, I'm just going to select the one that we just created. And if I hit OK, you're going to see it's pre-populated for the following week with the same information. So if the schedule is the same, I'm done. It took me 10 seconds to create that. That's probably not going to happen. Uh, but I can just go ahead and make a few changes. So maybe Betty's going to work until or and maybe Frank's not going to work. I can go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to add you know, another server so I can either just hit add from here and find that person. Or I could go to jobs and I could hit server and I could add that person to the schedule. And they're going to work on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, etc. And, and, and I'm done. So that's a pretty quick way to do a schedule. Um, if you do not have the scheduling mo module, contact your local dealer for pricing and information. The scheduling module offers uh, a lot of benefits to anybody using a focus system, especially controlling your labor and your payroll and your time cards and uh, your punch-ins and your punch-outs. So it's a great module to have. It's a great uh, enhancement to your system. I uh, hope this video helps you with your scheduling module, and until next time, stay focused.